You know, guys, I still can't get over the coincidence of that homeless guy coming here trying to sell that bird statue. Yeah, right after we were out at the dump looking for the same thing. Mm. You know, when we were out there, I saw a bum going through the trash. I asked him if he'd seen the statue, but he said he hadn't. What did he look like? Well, he had on an old tattered coat and an orange wool hat. That sounds like the same guy that came to the door. You know, I should have had you come out and talk to him. But the guy that I saw said he hadn't, that he hadn't seen the statue. Well, maybe he didn't find it until after you talked to him. You know, Eve, if you really want to track it down, I was just thinking I told him that he could probably sell it at that collectible store, out on Front Street. Are you all right, T.C.? Is your leg giving you trouble again, T.C.? I'm okay. Can a man scratch his leg without his best friend and his wife thinking that he's falling apart? Well, if I ever fall apart, I hope I'm as in as good a shape as you, T.C. Uh, T.C., seriously, why don't we go to the hospital and I order an x-ray for this leg? Sweetheart, I'm fine, okay? Please, don't worry about me. Well, I gotta get going. I gotta go to the hospital and check out my patients. Hey, why don't you and T.C. join us for dinner tonight? Yeah, that's a good idea. T.C. can hang here until you get back from the hospital. Yeah, making a pork roast. Oh, that sounds wonderful, Grace. Thank you. So I'll see you all later. Okay. I hope I won't be too long. Come on, baby. I'll walk you up. I gotta take some things over to the shop. Will you watch the roast for me? Yeah, sure, honey. Okay. I'll be back soon. Your knee is really bothering you, is it? It's no big deal. My wife worries too much about me as it is. And I don't want to worry about my knee, too. Look, TC, I'm really glad you got me to open up about Ivy and what's going on with her. But it's a two-way street. If you want to tell me how you injured your knee, it'll be just between you and me. You can trust me. I know, Sam. Then why don't you tell me what happened? You shouldn't keep something like that on the inside. It, it, it'll just... it'll just make you crazy. Because talking about it is not going to take the anger away. When I injured my knee, my tennis career was over. Sammy, I was going to go to the top. And it broke my father's heart. And he died later on. T.C., I... I didn't know that, man. I'm really sorry. Yeah, me too. But you know what, man? I'll never forget the feeling of letting him down. But you couldn't help getting injured, T.C. Yes, I could have, man. I should have been ready. I should have been on the lookout for something like that. It's just something like what? What, what happened? Man, I was getting ready for the regional finals, and I knew that I was going to win. I was going up against Julian Crane. Julian Crane? I didn't know he was a serious tennis player. Oh, yeah. You know, Julian was pretty good back then. And he wanted that championship, and he wanted it bad. T.C., what are you telling me? Sammy, you're a cop. When a crime is committed, you look to the first person who stands to benefit from that crime, right? Right. So? Well, the person who stood to benefit the most from my injury was Julian Crane. T.C., are you telling me Julian Crane was responsible for ending your tennis career? Did Julian cause your injury, T.C.? I can't prove it. But I know that he was behind it. And if I hadn't gotten injured, I would have beaten him every time, just like I've beaten him every time before. But I couldn't because I had to drop out of the finals. And Julian goes on to win the championship. Damn. I didn't know that, man. Hey, no wonder you hate him so much. Julian Crane is just like all the other Cranes. They take everything that they want. And they will hurt anybody who gets in their way. Look, I knew they were ruthless, but I had no idea how they changed your life. I am so sorry, man. Sammy, what happened to me is in the past. But right now, I'm worried about you. Me? Yeah, I'm talking about Ivy Crane. Ivy is as ruthless as the family she's married to. T.C., I know you're concerned about Ivy. So am I. But I think I convinced her to stay away from me. 
I warned her. If she ever hurt Grace, I would never forgive her. Well, I hope she listens to you. For your sake and for Grace's. But Ivy has become just like Julia. What, it's been 20 years since you and her have been together? And her passion for you has still not cooled. I'm not sure this woman can face reality. Well, I sure hope you're wrong. Pilar! Hello. How are you? Hi. Hey, Pilar. Hello, Tipsy. I hope I'm not intruding. No, no, not at all. Grace just went over to the shop. She said she'd be back in a few moments. Can I get you a cup of coffee? <laughs> Thank you. You know what, guys? I'm going to give Eve a call. She seemed upset about something. Excuse me? Sure. So how's the crane mansion? How do you mean? Talking about Ivy. I know I can be straight with you because you've been through everything right along with us. Hmm. Yes, that's true. I was Ivy's maid all those years ago when you two were dating against her family's wishes. I mean, aren't you close to her? I mean, doesn't Ivy confide in you? Yes, Sam, but I hope you won't ask me to betray her confidence. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. It's just I want to protect Grace. She doesn't know about my past with Ivy, and I'm not going to tell her unless I have to. I'm hoping she got my message. Well, I'm afraid she didn't get your message, Sam. I wish she had. But when Ivy gets something in her head, she doesn't let go easily. And unfortunately, right now, you are in Ivy's head. Can't you talk to her? I mean, she would listen to you, right? I've tried to tell her that what she's doing is wrong. She won't listen. She's determined to win back your love. That will not happen, Pilar. I know, Sam. You love your wife. I've told Ivy as much. But she is so sure she can make you remember your past together when you were young and in love with her. I plan to tell Grace about me and Ivy, but when the time is right. You won't mention it to her until I have a chance to talk to her, will you? Oh, I would never speak to Grace about such a thing. Thanks, Paul. Sure. Hey. That didn't take too long, did it? No. Hi, there. Hi, Grace. Hi, nice surprise. <laughs> How are things up at the mansion? How's Ivy? TC's. Something wrong? I'm not sure. I called the hospital, but the duty nurse said that Eve hasn't been in there yet. I wonder where she went. <laughs> 